So we met in a hospital in Brazil. We're both interns in an intensive care unit. I was born and raised there, so that's where I'm from originally. And, and uh, I grew up there. My parents immigrated to, uh, to Brazil when I was a baby, and uh, I grew up there and did my medical school there, and we met after uh, medical school. Oh, we make a good team, and uh, um, we think in different ways, and, uh, but always, uh, con uh, we always converge into um, a common point. Uh, and I think it's good that we come from different uh, angles and uh, to the same conclusion. So we went to the States very early in our careers. So I, I was, I think, 26 years old when I went. And I did uh, different training programs there. So I trained both in endocrinology and then in psychiatry. I was uh, chairman of psychiatry at the University of Miami. And then I was recruited here to Australia by Ian Chubb, who was a former uh, VC at Flinders to be director of the John Curtin School of Medical Research in Canberra. And then I got this offer to come to Sambri and to Flinders and thought it was very attractive and came here. Yeah, well, I'm about always being a, the trailing spouse, uh, but I always uh, working in research. I work at the interface of uh, obesity and depression, uh, studying them both separately and together. Yeah, but I think that those two are very important. They tend to be understudied. I trained initially in uh, diabetes and metabolism, and then I trained in, in, in depression. So for me, it's like a natural connection to make. And the treatments, the way that they exist today, they've been really designed for one or for the other. And I think that uh, we are in the midst of uh, an obesity epidemic. Everybody knows that. But we also are in the midst of uh, an epidemic of depression. And uh, the number of people taking antidepressants have uh, um, increased dramatically also in the past decade. And so we uh, want to understand if there is a relationship between these two epidemics.